um the title for my research thesis is deep ple generalizing rsi is localization across different devices and let's begin okay indo localization has been a topic of extensive research and interest to uh, the robotics community as a whole with smartphones becoming assistive robots and personal assistants and almost invading our lives in uh, every sphere it's uh, very important for us to deploy localization algorithms directly on smartphones last year techcrunch reported approximately 500 companies that have been using proximity based sensors in certain way in order to localize a person in indoor environments but obviously when we are trying to deploy such systems in real in real world then we don't want them to work work on a particular type of phone let's say a good phone or just an iphone with this thought in mind we started uh, thinking about this particular problem statement can we develop ml based localization algorithm using proximity sensors that can run on different smartphone devices without performing explicit training for each Uh, visually we can say that we have a map m with some proximity sensors and a phone p the phone p is receiving rsi information from the different proximity sensors and we want to come up with a method so as to uh predict the location the 2d location on with respect to the map the proximity sensors that we use are bluetooth based ble beacons these are beacons designed specifically for iot now why ble uh mainly because of three reasons first low power consumption second they're cheap and very easy to use third they're compatible with any phone but the problem with this uh, sensor is that they are extremely noisy more on that coming up typically a beacon would transmit something called as rssi to the phone and rssi refers to receive signal strength index we'll be using this term very frequently so let's talk about it briefly rssi as the name suggest conveys the power of the received signal at the receiver end it is measured in decibel milliwatts and it is inversely proportional to the distance between the receiver and the transmitter so essentially if there are two receivers one closer to a beacon and other far away from it the one that's closer will read a higher um rssi as compared to the one that's far away from it now it looks like a simple problem what are the challenges involved when we are trying to localize using rssi well the first one is that these are electromagnetic waves so in typical indoor settings they would suffer from phenomena like interference or reflection absorption multipath fading and so on which makes it really difficult to model them for instance here we show an example of multipath fading where although there is only one receiver and one transmitter the receiver perceives the location of transmitter at two locations which are marked as ghosts because of uh, the signal coming from multiple paths the other problem is the noise the other problem is the noise so for instance the rsi in this particular example the where the receiver and the transmitter are static even then is varying a lot now in addition to these existing changes what are the other challenges when we consider device change as a problem as we move from one phone to another let's say an iphone to a samsung it leads to change in material chip design um rf module physical configuration or the orientation of the antennas often software pre processing at the os level and all these changes will inevitably lead to change in distribution of the rssi signal just to give you a high level idea of how different rssi can be for two phones a subject walks with an apple iphone 7 and a xiaomi uh, on the same path like with one phone in each hand and we record rssi from a particular beacon as you can see the signal is significantly different let's look at it more closely in the red region we see that the mean rssi for an iphone is slightly higher than what is observed for a xiaomi phone in the yellow region we see that mostly a xiaomi phone remains inactive or uh, you know it's not detected with some occasional spikes whereas it's just the reverse in an apple where it's detected for most region and inactive for very uh, 
for a particular second or so or, or fourth in the third case like the green region we see that the apple phone records a pretty smooth rssi signal and a clean one as compared to what we record for a xiaomi phone with this we can summarize that for different phones the data can differ in terms of packet loss receiver failures drop in mean signal strength noise and variance in the signal with these challenges in mind we propose our work with the following contributions we develop a dl based indoor localization system using only rssi values for for removing the ambiguity of a receiver we propose the use of a translation network that translates the reading received by any phone into one defined phone in addition to this we come up with an unsupervised loss for training this translation network and propose a semi supervised formulation of rssi localization as a problem we also build on the first large scale rssi localization dataset with um, rssi values for 15 different smartphones with and precise ground truth locations we achieve the state of the art performance on all phones with less than 1 meter errors on iphone and approximately a 40% improvement for unseen phones and these errors are like absolute errors in terms of distance okay uh, let's get a quick understanding of how a typical data driven pipeline would work in case of rssi localization so you would have a train phase